everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new my name is Samantha so today I have another review for you guys except it is not on any handbags organizers or anything like that except it is on colored contacts and this is a collaboration video with Hapa Kristen so they are a colored contacts brand and they sent me four colored contacts of my choice so I will show you the four that I picked today put them on show you guys what it looks like and give my review on them so they did provide me a coupon code and I'll put it right here if you guys are interested. And also please read the description for more information. So to start off with, I want to let you guys know that I am wearing contacts and I have been in all of my videos. Contacts are something that I literally wear every day to work. Even when I'm at home, I should take them off, but I don't. So I really do live in contacts and my prescription is really, really bad. It is basically minus 6.00 in both eyes. But recently I went to get checked and this one is like 0.25 a lot more. So if you do wear contacts, you would know that your prescription is basically 0.25 less than your actual degree in glasses because the contacts are a lot closer to your eyes. So anyways, when they asked me what my prescription was, I did say minus 5.75. And unfortunately they didn't have any of that in 5.75. I'm not sure if it's all of them or most of them, but it kind of worked out for me. I ended up picking minus 6.00 because this eye is minus 6.00 in contacts and this one isn't. But because of the 0.25 difference, it isn't too bad. So the contacts that I'm wearing now, this one is actually a lot blurrier than this one. So I'm just gonna come a lot closer to you guys and I'm actually gonna put in all four contacts that I have just so that you guys can see what it looks like on me. And I do have naturally brown eyes. They aren't, I don't know if they're too dark or too light for you guys to get an idea to compare, but I already moved all the contacts in this little case because I do wear contacts. I have a ton of these um, Alcon containers, so I'm just gonna use that. And I'm gonna get started right away with this Mic Drop Kristen. This is in the green one. Okay, so this is the green one. What do you guys think? By far, out of all four of these, these are actually my favorite ones. And I feel like it's because the first two that I got, which is the mic drop one, it doesn't have the thick black circle that goes around it versus the other two that I'll show you guys later, the wannabe Kristen, that one has the dark um, black circle ring around your eye. So I personally like these ones because I feel like they look a little bit more exotic in a way because you don't have that black ring and it looks a lot lighter. So this is what it looks close up. I would say this does make me look a little bit more mixed rather than Chinese. I just think it looks really flattering with my hair and my skin tone. And I just love how lighter it makes my eye look because it doesn't have that black ring like I said. And I do feel like olives just do look better on me in terms of like clothes and all of that too. So. I think that is why I'm really drawn to this one. So I did do a natural eye look makeup today. So I do have just my brown eyeshadow and a white top just so that you guys can see a little bit more neutral comparison and can focus on the contacts. So this is the Mic Drop Kristen in the green one. So this one is the Mic Drop Kristen in Hazel. So Hazel, I would assume, is as close to brown as possible out of all the other colors. So this one does have a more natural look. I don't think there is much of a huge difference with this one and my natural eye color besides the fact that this one does lighten it a lot, a lot more. I think I would feel most comfortable wearing this as an enhancement to my own natural eye color the most in public. In terms of color contacts in general, I know people use it for so many reasons like cost playing or just having different looks but if you are a person that wants to have necessarily wearing colored contacts because also naturally Asians do have brown eyes so I do think this one is as close as possible to my natural eye but it also does enhance it by making it look lighter So now that I'm done the first two, like I mentioned, the second two does have that black ring around it. So this one is a lot more obvious. You can see the dimension and the outer black circle. And this one is the wannabe Kristen 
in the hazel. So this is very similar to the one I just tried on, the second pair, except this one has more of a defined black ring around it. I would say that this is a lot more eye-catching. It kind of makes my pupil look a little bit bigger than normal. I do like it, except this one is a little bit too bold for me. Like I said, my favorite one is still the first one. Of course, this is also hazel, so it's very close to my natural eye color. Let me know what you guys think about this one as well. Whether you guys like the black ring or no black ring. I actually don't even know the terminology of the eyeball, so I'm just calling it the black ring. I'm sure there is an actual term for it. So this is the third pair. Let me know what you guys think. I personally feel like the black ring is very dark and it's kind of contrasting, so it does make my already dark eyebrows seem a little bit lighter because of the contrast. Even with my hair, I feel like the overall look just looks a little bit different. It's not as, I would say, soft like the first two. This one is a lot more bold. So now I'm gonna move on to the fourth pair that I got, and it is also the wannabe Kristen, so it does have that black ring, except I got it in a different color. Okay, so this is the fourth pair, and like I said, it is the wannabe Kristen with the ring around it, and this one is in the color gray. It's very similar to the one I just tried on, except the inside color is gray, and I feel like I do actually like this one a lot more because I don't want to get a color contact that is so close to my natural eye color if I am trying to get some color into it. I feel like this one is a better tone with my eyebrows and my hair. I'm not sure why. Even though the other one is hazel, I feel like it's just because it's a little bit darker that it does does look a little bit better with the black ring and not a fan of huge contrasts I find so I feel like this one may be a little bit more subtle in my opinion which is why I do like it a lot more than the hazel wannabe Kristen but let me know what you guys think some people do like the contrast a lot more I do like more of a subtle look hence I guess why I like the first one more because there isn't the black ring and it's a lot lighter so yeah, this is the last one. I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into the review. So I'm gonna go ahead and change into my favorite contacts and give the review. So this is in order of the first to the fourth uh, pair that I tried. So I just wanna show you guys what it looks like up close. Okay, so now that you guys have seen me try everything on, let me know which one is your favorite one. So in terms of these contacts, I would say that the pros are that there are so many to choose from and you can get your prescription, but of course the one that I have, which was minus 5.75, unfortunately those ones aren't available and I don't know if it's all of them or some of them, but for sure if you guys do have that prescription, maybe look into different styles. I would also say that they are quite comfortable. They're not too hard to put in. Now this is also coming from a person that wears contacts every single day so I am used to touching my eyeball every day twice a day they aren't too flimsy so they were really easy to put in so it maintained that C shape while I was you know putting it in my eye it wasn't one of those super soft ones that would just start to bend and taking these out were also a lot easier so the diameter of this is 14.0 which I believe is 140 millimeters so that is 1.4 cm now the thing is that it is good that it is that big because because it makes it easier to put in as you know that the normal contacts that are not colored are about 120 millimeters which is 1.2 cm in diameter now the thing is that going into the cons i would say i'm going to try my best to explain this especially for those who don't wear contacts but because the diameter is 140 millimeters it seems quite large for the pupil now it's not because of um the hapa Kristen brand itself but it's almost all colored contacts are this diameter so it's not really a con, but it is a con in general for colored contacts. So when I blink or I just have them on, I can feel that it is a little bit larger and that there is extra material, you know, under my eyelid and under here as well. So that is only bothersome, I would say, if you were planning to wear this every day and you're not used to that. But because I've worn contacts for a long time, many years, it doesn't bother me as much, but I would say that I can definitely notice it because I have something to compare to. But yeah, these guys are my favorite ones and I will let you guys know that it is a mic drop Kristen again in the green color. And I will link everything below and also my coupon code down below as well. But yeah, overall, a general review, I feel like this is gonna be really fun to just kind of wear with different makeup looks, different outfits, especially if you do cosplay and all that kind of stuff. I think it's kind of fresh to change up. Like this one, I would feel like it's perfect for summer. 
And then the last two that I tried is a lot more, I think, perfect for winter because it's a little bit more darker and, I don't know, cooler vibes. That's how I feel. I really did find it fun to put these ones on and see how it changed my makeup and overall complexion. Let me know if you guys can see the difference as well on camera. I'm not sure if it's picking up, but yeah, for sure. Overall, my complete review is that I would actually buy these and use them again. Obviously, they have different ones. So this one is a two-piece for one month. And obviously, it's good for one month. So whether you guys wanted to try one or not, you can at least use it for a whole month. Like even my uh, my normal contacts, those ones are bi-weekly. So I have to throw them out every twice a week. Sometimes, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I like use it until the shape is no longer, you know, that concave C shape. Of course, if you guys don't wear contacts at all, it might be a struggle, but this goes for any contacts out there. So that is it for this video. I know it is so different from all the other things that I usually post on this channel, but I really wanted to do a review because I actually was looking at colored contacts for another video that I may be doing soon. It really depends on when my things come into the mail, so stay tuned for that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this video and found it helpful. And if you guys haven't already, it would mean so much to me if you guys would subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video.